Right here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, you know, I know this New York and everybody's cool niggas and all that. You know what I'm saying? But I need everybody to come here. Yo, first of all, I go by the name of the kid Daytona. You know what I'm saying? And um, I've been doing this for a minute, for a long time, and I see a lot of friends, I see a lot of family in here, I see a lot of people I don't know, you know what I mean, um, I kind of want to get y'all acquainted with me, you know what I'm saying, because, uh, like, I just feel like, you know, if you don't know me as a person, I'm like the most real, genuine, you know, nigga you will ever meet, ever, you know what I'm saying, anybody that really fuck with me like that will tell you the same thing, and, um, I'm just real appreciative of y'all coming here for me, I don't know if y'all came here for the free Henny, or y'all really came here for me, but, you know what I'm saying, either way, man, I fucking feel the love and, and, and um I appreciate y'all for coming out and shit. Um so right what we about to do is uh we about to play Wreckage off the interlude and that's a project that I got um collaboration with LRG and um uh, it's something I've been working on for a minute, you know what I mean? And um it's crazy just how it came together because we started doing this project in like December and it's like um you know, around that time, I was kind of like going through like some personal things and some personal issues. You hear, you know, some of those records on there and all. It's just crazy, like, a phone call, like, you know, could just change your whole situation and how you feeling, you know what I'm saying, just at that present time. And um, I got a phone call, you know, shout out to the homie Woody White. And it was just like, yo, man, um, yo, Daytona, yo, we going to, to Seattle, nigga. Yo, you shooting a national campaign with LRG. And um, I was just like, word, you know, ew, that's crazy. So we, we went out there. <laughs> and um, and we, like, I just experienced me being a city kid. I'm from the South Bronx. I just experienced something, you know what I'm saying? Like, just so crazy, like, you know, walking out the crib you staying in and, and seeing deer and sea otters and, you know what I mean, and, and all kind of craziness, geese and, like, only when you walk out the crib, you see pigeons and squirrels, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was used to, and, uh, and you know, that trip really changed my life, man, and uh, from there, I just came back and um, just did a whole bunch of records, man, like, with legendary producers and people that I look up to and people that's on the ground, you know, shout out to Knife Wonder, legendary dude, um, you know, y'all can see the video running, like, we went out to North Carolina and we did three records together that came out crazy, um, shout out to Bink, you know what I'm saying, legendary, legendary dude, if y'all know who Bink is, he did records with everybody from Teddy Riley to Jay-Z to, you know what I'm saying, like, he's a legendary dude, man, and, um, he really took me under his wing. And, uh, you know, fuck with me as a person, first and foremost, and as an artist, you know, at the same time. And, and I got my brother, you know, Sixth Sense, who's helped me along in my whole journey, you know, from, from the beginning, from the very, very, very start of everything. Up and coming producers like Envy Me and, and Cook Classics and, you know, like everybody who just helped me out on this project, I'm thankful, man. Shout out to O Nose. You know, like my brother hold me down in every, 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 every way, every situation that we just been in. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like my family, you know, my family all knows. Shout out to Amari, Biggs, you know, my whole team. Shout out to Jamal. You know, I met, I, I just had like a long journey in this whole industry thing. Like, I'm definitely not an industry dude, and I hate just playing that game, you know what I'm saying? But... You know, like, in this industry, it's like, it's easy just to be like, man, like, the shit to fucking break you down and then get you down when you a genuine person. And uh, I kind of, like, met Jamal, and he's just been, like, my big brother. You know, it's Jamal right here. He doesn't like accolades. You know what I mean? But, um, thank care. Shout out to Cypher Sounds. You know, another one of my family members. And, um, you know, I, I know I'm kind of getting long-winded right now. Like, I'm, um, I'm getting a Grammy speech and shit, like, you know. But, uh, you know, at the same time, this is big for me, you know, being a kid from the South Bronx, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, being able to just to make it this far, like having people believe in you, you know, shout out to LRG for really just believing me. I'm the first artist that, uh, that they did, you know, they took it this far with.